Hands up. Suitcase Kitchen back in effect. <clears throat> kind of a random episode here. I got a wild bug to uh, make a stuffed pork loin. So uh, what we got are a number of things. We got a Dijon, lemon, oil, pepper, garlic mix for a bit of a marinade. We've got some chopped sun-dried tomatoes with some pancetta. Quite delicious. Two ounces there. Salt, pepper for seasoning. We got two pork tenderloins, not loins. Um, I think a pork loin actually might be easier, but two pork tenderloins. What we did was we sliced this guy right down the middle on both of them actually, on both loins, because you get two in a package. And then we covered them in plastic and then beat the pants off of them with uh, this, I guess I'd call it my mallet, but because I don't have, to have a proper mallet, uh, we're using a rolling pin. But yeah, same thing is accomplished. Uh, we also have, we're gonna be stuffing these guys with, I said, the pancetta and some spinach and a back. Just generic store-bought frozen spinach. Probably not the best idea, but when you're in a pinch, again, like I said, this was on a whim. And uh, yeah, so we're stuffing it with spinach, pancetta, sun-dried tomatoes, all chopped up. We got a sliced, pounded pork loin with our fun little mixture here. And last but not least, we're gonna tie this dude together with some, this is some basic twine from uh, Home Depot. Uh, long and short, you just wanna make sure you don't buy twine with nylon in it, because it doesn't do well in the oven, but anything that's natural, sort of vegetable fiber, like, again, cotton is your best choice. That's what you get at, from like a butcher. But this is Cecil or hemp, uh, which works just fine too. Uh, so we put all this nonsense together, tie it up, put it in the oven for 425. That's what we're gonna do. So, uh, you just to... All I did was take this box of spinach, put it in the microwave for about six minutes, and then it creates a lot of water, as you probably have come to find out. Uh, and then I took it and I put it into some cheesecloth uh, and just gave it a quick sort of strain, so to speak. This recipe comes from Skinny Taste. Uh, dot com. Uh, but what I omitted specifically or changed, I dropped the cheese. Uh, that's your call. And it called for prosciutto. We had some leftover pancetta. Uh, and that's what I used. Right, now we're going to tie this guy together. And what it says to do is take the jelly roll approach. I don't really know what that means, but I'm assuming I'm just going to kind of roll it like a, I don't know, like a Christmas Yule log. Uh, you ever made one of those, which I haven't. All right, I'm gonna roll this guy up. Let's see. It's as rolled as it's gonna get. All right. Got my quote unquote butcher's twine, which is not butcher's twine at all. I made a little lasso on the one end so I could slip it around the end of the pork loin. Cinch this dude tight like that. And then we just make these little loopy loops. You know, and if I was actually like a talented chef, I would have something to say about why you tie this guy together. But I'm not, just a regular dude. Let's try not to be a slob and uh, eat mildly healthy. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it's together, right? Yo, hey, Stig, how you doing, bud? Come on over, man. Good. Nope. What's up, dog? My dog, I mean Steve. Hey, bud, what are you doing? All right, and uh, that's kind of all she wrote. We're gonna put these dudes right into this little pan all the day. And this is really, this guy has to go in the oven, like I said, 425, 25 to 30 minutes, and then probably boil it. Uh, let's hope for the best. It takes a little bit of work. So, uh, Put in some work, put in some effort, and make yourself something tasty. Hang out with your buddies. Listen to heavy metal. I bet it. All right? Bye now. Oh, damn. Take a look at that. Or she blows. Looking good, stuffed pork loin. Looking good.